Hey guys, um, so here it comes, the final reveal for my uh, entry into Tactical Jackalope's top speed build contest, uh, the Tamiya 124 scale 1989 Sauber Mercedes C9 race car. Sitting right on the turntable here. Um, all in all, I'm, I'm really happy with how this thing came out. Um, as far as to me kits go, this isn't their best kit. There's some fit issues here and there. Um, I actually had an entire sprue of parts, um, that when they molded it, it was like the, uh, the mold shifted like about a sixteenth of an inch. So I had an entire sprue of parts where the, the, the pieces were not, they were off, right? Like I had to do a lot of cleanup work on that. Um... The fit isn't a hundred percent perfect. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not, but there's there's spots where I mean you can see at the front here the bodywork doesn't fit as snug as it should. I could glue this down, but even if I glue it down, like you still have big gaps on either side of those little intakes there. Um, it is what it is. I'm like I said, I'm happy with how this thing came out. Um, it's just a little bit of slop here and there in the, in how it went together. Uh, also the fuel fillers don't match up correctly, or they don't match up where they should with the bodywork 100%. They're not centered. Um, you can't tell because I painted them black, but they're, they're just a little bit off center. And that's something that you put those in early on in the build and, you know, by the time you build up that engine bay, um, it, the the fuel fillers are 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 just buried inside, and they're like you know by the time even without the bodywork, by the time I I got everything assembled there, there's no way I'm going to be able to get in there and move those without basically tearing everything apart. Um, and again, this is an old kit. This is a kit. This is a kit that was made in 1990. So, you know, ha keeping that in mind, I'm actually really happy with with how everything looks and how everything turned out. Um, the decals were starting to turn, were starting to yellow. So it's a good thing that I got to this kit when I did. You know, another year or two, and they probably would have been dried out and and maybe unusable and completely yellowed. Um, Having said that, they all went down really well with the exception of the one that goes on the rear wing there. You probably can't see it in the video, but there's a little bit of silvering in there and it just it just didn't want to lay down very well. And it's you know, you can just barely see it, but in the ST, the red part, it's the uh when they printed it, it was just a little bit out of registration there. Um but yeah, I mean, all in all, like, I'm really happy with how this thing came out. Um, like I said, my complaints are the, uh, just, you know, it's a little bit sloppy in how it goes together and how it fits together. Um, the other thing, the, my other issue in this, the, you know, oh, so the decals. Um, the water slide decals, the main water slide decals worked great. Um, but anybody that's built a Tamiya kit and has tire decals that knows that they're like, you can just barely see it. It's like they're these weird things that are like, they're a combination of a, a dry transfer and a water slide. You're supposed to be able to stick them to the tire, wet the back, and pull it off and it, it, it'll it uh, come off nicely that way. Those were unusable. Those were, Those are dried out. And I got really lucky that a few months ago I bought an aftermarket set of just tire decals. So fortunately I was able to go into that, pop a couple, pop four Michelin decals off of there and I'm, I'm good to go on, the, on, the, uh, on that. Um, the other issue was the Studio 27 uh, photo etch. At this point, I wouldn't recommend that anybody buy one of these photo etch sets. Um, the pieces that work look great, you know, those brake discs, and, and there's other pieces here and there, like in the mirrors, there's there's a photo etch piece for the 
for the mirror if it would focus it's not going to focus right now um but there's there's other photo etch pieces here and there on the car that look great but the problem is like there's big pieces here and there that 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 just don't fit they're made wrong um this whoops almost knocked it off there this piece in my hand is one of the prime examples this car is also meant to be able you're, you're supposed to be able to cover the louvers up right and they would cover the louvers up so you could you could achieve a higher top speed uh, with the car problem is this piece too small doesn't fit it wouldn't cover the I, I test fitted it and it just doesn't cover the the louvers completely so if I tried to use it it would have looked really really dumb um, the other one and this one really made me mad um, these pieces uh, the car, the actual car, this portion of the engine bay where you have the blow-off valve and the exhaust and the turbo, all that stuff in the car, it's covered up. And that's what this piece is meant to do. It's meant to go in there and it would cover all, from the top, it would cover that up. And it would look really nice. One of these pieces works. The other one, the cutout for the header pipes is in the wrong spot which shifts it back and would have left a giant gap and it would have looked really really bad so yeah the studio 27 photo etch not recommended for me at this point i was really disappointed in the end with all of those pieces that just don't fit um and are not right i'm not made right and that's and there's there's also instructions in there that that tell you to make things backwards so, um, Studio 27 Photo Etch, big thumbs down. Um, but there it is. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to whip up some 5-minute epoxy and epoxy it to the, uh, little display case. And it will then reside. Oops. As long as I don't drop the other one, it will, uh, reside either on top of or next to this one, the, the CLK GTR that I finished uh, last year. So, yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I will be uploading some pictures separately from this video to Tactical Jackalope, to the, to the modelers group, and, yeah, so that the judges can, can look at the actual pictures. Thanks for watching, everybody.